Welcome everyone to our presentation uh, regarding the uh, knowledge that alumni and alumnae have about Catholic social teaching and what they can teach us. I'm Margarita Rose from King's College and along with my colleagues uh, have been working on this question for uh, a couple of years now. And we're very grateful that you have an interest in the topic as well. Uh, we'd like to share our thoughts briefly and then invite you to um, respond to us at some point in the future if you also would like to be part of this project. Hi everyone, I'm Kathleen and I'm absolutely delighted that you're here with us. The four of us have been thinking about these issues and I bet as you have too for quite some time. What is it that our colleges and universities contribute to their knowledge about and appropriation of the Catholic social tradition? So we've been doing some interviewing of select people to discover and there's some good news about it and there's some challenging news and that's what we're hoping our study will eventually share with others and we hope you will share it with us as well what you're doing to help us learn more about what experiences really contribute to their knowledge and appropriation of CST. Thank you Kathleen. What we've been looking at at Fairfield is to try to understand among our alumni what was the experience that, uh, that galvanized them to think about Catholic social teaching and to organize their, their lives. And um, what we've been doing is we've, we've been, I've been working with our alumni office and our Center for Social Impact to identify graduates who have lived lives for others and to organize them so that our current students can reach out to them, reach out to them by Zoom or reach out by them if they're on campus for a visit to talk with them and to understand what the possibilities are once they graduate from Fairfield. Greetings, everybody. I'm uh, Jay, I'm at the University of Notre Dame and um, I'm interested in human development and alumni are the exemplars for our students in many ways. And so being an exemplar is a key thing in, in a finding for us that we have uh, been excited to share. Um, for instance, at Notre Dame, where we engage alumni as supports for our summer service learning participants. Uh, they host the students in their cities. Uh, they have those tough uh, conversations and questions uh, et cetera, and they share their own lives and their own developmental challenges and journeys. That's the kind of finding that we're, we're uh, discovering. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we also think that engaged learning is the key means to prompt a full and rich exploration of Catholic social teaching. Our colleague, Roger Bergman, who in a book called Catholic Social Learning, argues that authentic engagement is the only real way, right, way to learn CST. You can't just teach it from the front of the classroom. Uh, here are the seven principles, et cetera. Um, so we'll, we have more to share in that realm. And we also wanna argue that if um, the real measure of our universities is what our students become, we need to measure this. We need to understand the challenges and outcomes uh, of our alumni and bring that back to our universities. So that's what our project is about. Um, we've been doing this for about seven years across 12 colleges and universities. Um, and we have lots more to share and a lot more questions to answer with many of you. And in, we've done some initial interviews of uh, alumni and alumnae and many of them have talked about the experiences that Jay described, um, that they, they remember these, they were uh, central to their formation as a person, um, let alone as a Catholic. And um, many, however, do not uh, recall specifically hearing about particular Catholic social teaching principles or documents and so forth. So that's another uh, question that we want to tease out. Uh, where are where are our graduates um, hearing about CST and where are they not? And what can um, we do to ensure that they do have that experience? All right, so um, if, if any of my colleagues would like to give some specific examples, um, 
we could add those now, but we also have a few examples as you see here on the slide. Um, both, both young people who've graduated more recently, they are the focus of uh, some of the interviews we're doing. And then of course, some of our older alumni who've been so faithful to our institutions. Thanks, Margarita. You know, one thing that has occurred to me as we've been doing this is some of the alums that we've spoken to said, gosh, I wish I had known this when I was there. I didn't, but what can happen now? And we've thought about encouraging alumni offices to offer summer programs or evening, whatever. So alums who didn't get the concreteness of CST would have a chance now in their adult lives in the real world a chance to learn more about it. And that's exciting. We have something to offer our universities that they can be doing even now. Uh, and what we've been doing is we have our Center for Social, Social Impact. And what we do wanna do is we wanna organize um, activities surrounding while they're undergraduates, ex experiential learning out in the community and then follow as they, they, their lives unfold and measure that impact over time. So this is a brief look at what we're up to. <clears throat> if it intrigues you, uh, if you'd like to learn more or if you'd like to join us in this effort, uh, here are our, here's our contact information. You'd be more than welcome. We've only had a, a minute to to share the tip of the iceberg, but we're excited to be on this journey of learning about CST and its, its application in higher education. Thank you everyone. And uh, we hope to meet you in the future. <laughs>